Hello beautiful and wonderful people from whatever corner of the country that you're watching Celeb Corner KE from. I hope you're doing good and you're doing great. Now, as of right now, we bring to you a certain story that as of today hit the headlines and it's currently the talk of the town. Remember yesterday the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Deputy President Regadi Gashagwa, held a press conference. Not, not a press conference, he held an interview with some Gituku of Citizen TV. And by an interview, it heard from uh, 7 to Kitusatatu Apo. Now, during the interview, Gashagwa spoke about a lot of things. But most of the things were implicating on how his relationship to the president has deteriorated. And we, this has forced some people to react differently to Gashagwa's sentiment. But one statement that today has caught my attention, which was a public address and a press conference, it was held by the Omabi governor Gladys Wanga. The Omabi governor Gladys Wanga called a press conference to ask Gashagwa to stop meddling in President William Ruto's business. Tunailewana. Now, rumor has it that Raila Odinga made a deal with President William Ruto. Though he is exiting the public politics, uh, the national politics of the Republic of Kenya, his people are not exiting. And more so, he ensured to tell President William Ruto that he should make sure that in 2027, while he will be running for presidency, that Gashago will not be his deputy. He made sure and made Ruto a deal that if they were to have a broad-based government, he will get the AU chairmanship, then Gladys Wanga will get the deputy president role in President William Ruto's government come the year 2027. Gladys Wanga coming out and calling out the deputy president publicly, you know, we know of how these things have been carried out. When you look at the, 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 the politics of our republic right now, you read from a very same script. A script that was played out in the 2022 general election and during the Uru Kenyatta versus William Ruto regime. Tunailewana. So Raila always has a plan. And his plan to remain in control of a government is to make sure that he has people in it. And the person that will be Raila's eyes in William Ruto's second term as the president of the Republic of Kenya is supposed to be Gladys Wang. And Gladys Wanga, listen, what Gladys Wanga told Gashagwa. He told, she told Gashagwa that you are the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. You and the president should be speaking the same language. You know? and not speak, you, you are meant to be a symbol of public, un, uh, of national unity. Being a deputy president, you unite every tribe in the Republic of Kenya, not only the Mount Kenya region. Tunailewana, Gashagwa knows that. The reason he always dwell in the Mount Kenya region politics is because he knows that his stronghold comes from there. Tunailewana. And he knows that if he does not keep a strong base with the people of Mount Kenya region, then his chances of survival under President William Ruto's government are so limited and are so minimal. And that's why he always turned to the Mount Kenya region people. But now Gladys Wanga tries to play the card of telling Gashagwa, you should stay away from attacking the president. You should be defending the president no matter what. Tunailewana. Gashagwa revealed a lot of things that he was taken out of President William Ruto's diary that he does not know on how President William Ruto carries out his functions. So where we are heading to as of right now is where Gashagwa will start being banned from, con uh, uh, from co co holding public rallies like the way it happened with Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta regime. Munakumbuka that era when Ruto alikuwa anaenda huku anapata kumemwagwa shonde ndiye asifanye event 
was it? Uh, Ruto, yeah. You remember what really happened back in that time. Hmm? So right now, Gladys Wanga calls out the deputy president and tells the deputy president, it's about time you respect the president. It's about time you learn hmm, to be the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya and not the kingpin of the Mount Kenya region politics. Now, <laughs> in, it has been speculated most of the time. Na ukiangalia aswa as of right now. If Ruto, if Ruto is losing base with the people, with the Mount Kenya people, uh, it is a clear indication that uh, Gladys Wanga is the only candidate that might at least replace the Mount Kenya votes in Ruto's the ballot come the year 2027. How is this going to happen? If Gashagwa walks out of Ruto's government and Gashagwa is not considered as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, then what will happen is Ruto needs somebody who has a convincing power to bring in votes to replace those of the Mount Kenya region polity, uh, the, the Mount Kenya region. Now at Wamlima Kenya, wanakawa mechoka na Ruto kapsa. So what will happen? The laws, because wao ufuata chenye baba nasema, they will worship Ruto come the year 2027 if Gladys Wanga is picked. That is what Ruto thinks. He thinks, if I have Gladys Wanga as my deputy president, then I have the Luo and the Nyanza region votes. Tunaelewana. Not only that, he also believes that he, he, as of right now, he is Oparanya kwa kikundi yake. Oparanya sahi is a very useless man. Tunaelewana. So Oparanya, yeye ataenda huku ajaribu kukonvince waluya wakuji wapigia ruto ku, kura. Same thing to the Mombasa and the coastal region. The coastal region iko na kura nyingi pia. Huko kwa uh, uh, kwa gavana hab nini Nasir Abdul Swamad Nasir So ndio maana alipia joho kiti kama wazi So come the year 2027 they will be campaigning under one umbrella Joho supporting Ruto Oparanya supporting Ruto Gladys Wanga being the 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 uh, deputy president Yeah and that's it. So, our watu, Ruto anamini, nikichukua, nikichukua Mombasa kura za coastal region, nichukua kura za western region, nichukua kura za Nyanza region, aswa aswa hapo Nyanza region. Alafu, nichukue kura za, za western. That means ni mekafunga. I don't need you, Gashagwa, no more. Uwe, Gashagwa, go to hell with your, with your mulima votes. Tunaelewano? And that is why Gladys Wanga is so confident because she knows she is the right and the ripe pick for President William Ruto come the year 2027. So Gashagwa is either he start drafting his own opposition. Kwa sababu ukiangalia with, with your own intelligence right now. Mambo akina Kimani Kimanongo are saying Kimani Kimanongo is you, you, you are a leader of majority in the National Assembly, Kemani Ishungo. The things that uh, Akina, uh, uh, Moses Kuri is saying, the things that are being said by different leaders under President William Ruto's regime are things that implicate and tell you that Gashagwa is out of government. Gashagwa has no say. Gashagwa ana nguvu. Ne mulemavu kabisa. Katika uongozi wa Rais William Ruto. So, I bet now you know. But before I leave, I want to read you a few tweets. Pale kwa X. Because Kenyans, now be, uh, and even before, listen. The Oric Democratic Movement, ODM chairperson Gladys Wanga, today criticized the move by Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa to lay bare the intrigues regarding his fallout with his boss, President William Ruto. Instead of course, focusing on national issues, Gashagwa is a tell-all in, in, in a tell-all interview with Citizen TV on Friday night, 
expressed disappointment at his boss for the endless insult and ridicule he faces from the president allies, noting that it was high time for President Ruto to keep his promise of protecting his deputy. In a press on Sunday, on Saturday, Wanga read mischief in the DP statements and claimed that frust the frustration arose from President Ruto's decision to form a broad-based government with the opposition. When anybody from the presidency comes out to address the country, Kenyans expect that they will hear from the presidency about the many challenges they are facing, said Wanga. The bitterness is arising from the fact that all the, these people, who were considered non-shareholders by the deputy president, have come forward and are also participating in this company that is called Kenya. The Omavi governor also noted that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration should focus on delivering its mandate to Kenyans instead of airing their dirty linen in public. And I quote her, Be serious with the work you were elected by the people. If you are the DP or the president, you must be serious instead of complaining. Kenya Kwanzaa's role is clear. Now let me go and read to you a few tweets on what Kenyans are saying on platform X aswa kulingana na statement ya Gladys Wanga leo because Gladys Wanga is currently trading at number 1 on Twitter eh na muona je muona eh naona huyo naye bana ana mambo mengi now what i can see uh, and i mean what i can see here is that a lot of people are saying that Gladys Wanga is right now preparing herself to take over as the DP of the Republic of Kenya. Kiawa says, Odiso Gladys Wanga, so you are becoming the deputy president in the next coming election. Kiawa, William Ruto. Mwingine hmm? hapa hey, hey. nani? Mwingine hapa ni nani? Yes. I can see Sensation KE anasema Gladys Wanga, I hope you normally brush your teeth. Masika anasema so Gladys Wanga is working with Kijana ya Sara. Salale. Eh? You know, many people respected Gladys Wanga, by the way. Many people saw her as a symbol of women in power and women who can't be intimidated while they're in power. For now, umambo ya nakomea hapo, kumbuka hii in celeb kona ki. Make sure una subscribe. Tukutane katika video zetu zijazo wadao. What is your take on Gladys Wanga as your deputy president?